there we go. We actually got a uh, third panel done. So now I can prop this up. First, I'm going to stain it. So I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about staining. I've already stained the outsides of the other panels before I put them up. So I'm actually spraying my stain. But being on the free measure of uh, not paying anything for the shed, I'm actually using motor oil. So I'm using a 50-50 blend of diesel mixed straight with motor oil. And I've just been mixing in these uh, these five quart jugs, and it works amazingly well. It goes on, soaks right into the wood. The wood likes it, gives a nice natural color. So let's spray it. There we go, we got two really heavy, heavy coats on there. You don't need to wipe it, nothing like that, or just let it soak in, but now you can lift it up and put it in place. Wood guys will be able to pick this out a little bit better. But all this is red oak. All this wood right here. All of it. Red oak. For free. So, just got one side left. But, here we are. I got this wall leaning up now. Um, I did run into a new issue. My, my, my sides aren't. My uh, siding isn't long enough to staple between here and here, so I need to put up another board, but I've already mortise and tenoned all this. So I doweled it at the bottom and I'll put it down, and then I will put it up against it. I'll put some dowels down to the top, but then my board wasn't long enough, so I played around with a couple different uh, joinery techniques. You know, where you cut these two zigzags and you put a wedge in the middle, and then I pinned it just in case, but it's just for aesthetic, you know, it's just some hmm, filler board just to nail something to, but so that slides over these two little dowels I put down here. Little wedge in place. <laughs> 